Seth Money right. Brown, Eric right. said, Junior. Right. Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, this is Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on out there, fight? Well, it's your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on three stars in this boxing game. We got the three division world champion, the former unified lightweight world champion. Vasily the Matrix Lomachenko. We have Tiffimo Lopez, the current unified lightweight world champion, the takeover. And then we have that boy Javante Tank Davis, that gorilla, that killer out of Baltimore, Maryland, the two division world champion, looking to be a three division world champion. We take on Mario Berrios. And we got Lomachenko coming out explaining, saying he felt like Tiffimo and his daddy don't want to give him the rematch because they're afraid of him because they know that um, Loma will come in there. You know, and basically um, take them out and win because they know what happened in the first fight. And to me, Loma saying that Javante Davis punched harder than Teofimo Lopez and everybody at 135. Check this out, and I'll be back with my greatest assessment, family. You know, I, I do want to ask him about the match because uh, he know it and his father know it. It was a very close fight. And... Uh, they uh, they uh, know what happened if they uh, give me a rematch. That's why they won't go up next way. Точно так как и с с Хейни. Это же не это же не был одиночный сильный удар. Это была комбинация. Это была серия, в которой скрывался точный быстрый удар. Поэтому ну так нельзя сравнивать. Допустим, ярко выраженный панчер это у нас в нашей весовой категории это Дэвис, ну то есть ну, он ярко выраженный, он одиночным ударом может нокаутировать человека, одним ударом. А Линарес, ну у него... I wish I could see, man, this Lomachenko speaking his mind. He feel like, you know, Ted Fimo and his pops, they don't want to give him the rematch because they understand that the first fight was so close and that, uh, you know, they know in the second fight that Loma will probably be much better and things of that nature. And Lomachenko saying he, that he had beat him. And they don't want to give him that rematch. But, you know, Lomachenko got to fault himself for not putting the rematch clause in the contract and being cocky enough to where he felt like if he beat um, Teofimo Lopez, that, you know, he'll just move on about his business. The kid probably ain't got enough experience. They never seen nothing like him. So I can't, you can't, I'm not mad at T.O. and his pops for moving on. But I will say this, the second fight will probably be different. You know what I mean? Not saying T.O. can't win. But I'm just saying, I think Lomachenko come out here will start early. And I think he understand where he fucked up at when he went back and watched tape and things of that nature but that's why you got to get it done right in the first time you feel me get it done right the first time or get yourself a second chance with a contract clause tell female went out there and did what he had to do now with the Devin haney i mean sorry with the turn damn with the javante davis situation my bad family you know he said that he felt like Devin haney don't have that one punch power right he said the, the power that can knock you out with one shot is somebody like Ted. i mean sorry man look at me somebody like javante tank davis you understand me? And I feel like when he was saying that, he was saying that Tank is the most dangerous puncher at the 135-pound division, and you got to watch out for him. You know what I mean? You got to watch out for him. He could have said T.O. He was in a ring with Teofimo Lopez. But he said Javante Tank Davis because he seen Tank not catch out with that one punch and just put your ass out cold. You know what I mean? Put you out cold. So he's looking at Tank as, you know what? That kid got the pop. He got the power. You got to watch out for him. You know, he's a he's a he's a gorilla, man. He's a gorilla. He ain't GTD the killer the gorilla for no reason. He's Javante Davis the killer gorilla for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? And Tank, you know, he brings that power to the to the to the division. Now with Tank bring it to 140, that's gonna be a different question. And I mean, that's gonna be a different question, I believe so. But he's gonna have to show it against Mario Berrios. But, you know, Loma is out speaking his mind, man, letting people know. You know what I mean? I'm back. I'm finna take on Nakatani. Nakatani gave uh, Tiafimo Lopez uh, arguably his toughest fight of his career. Then he gave fucking uh, uh, what's my guy's name? My guy that just murdered his fucking girlfriend. Fetus Fidejo. Fetus Fidejo. He went out there and took Fetus Fidejo out. Took him out. You know what I mean? After Fetus Fidejo dropped him a few times, was in control of the fight. He came, turned it around, and showed that he's a Japanese warrior. And if you can't put uh, put me down and keep me down, I'm going to continue to come. So Loma's going to test his skills against Nakatani. He feel like, you know, it is a test. If, for anybody saying that it's not a test, um, you don't know what you're looking at. I feel like he going to get Loma 
a, a run for his money, but I do feel like Loma is going to get him at the end. I think Loma will be successful. It is a possibility that Loma can stop Nakatani, depending on the, 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 the output that Loma put out and depending on what approach Loma takes. Like if Loma start early, I think his body shots can be um, damaging, but I'm going to take Loma by, uh, you know, unanimous decision. Unless Loma press on the gas and go out there and try to bang it out with Nakatani, I feel like that would be a bad move for him because Nakatani is a strong-ass fighter. He's a strong fighter, you know what I mean? And he he's not he don't have quit in him. He's a he's a Japanese samurai warrior to me for a reason. He don't have no quit in him, so Loma's going to have to be careful in that fight. Use the angles, use the boxing skills, go to the body, and when you hurt him, you got to finish him. You know what I mean? Phyllis Fideo couldn't get him out of there, so you got to finish him. Now, with Tiafimo Lopez, man, if Loma can get that rematch, um, which it don't look like it's going to happen because T.O. look like he's moving up to 140. And I think T.F.E.M.O. want to take that Lomachenko win and hold on to it. You know what I mean? Hold, he don't want to get that win back. And not saying that he can't beat Lomachenko in the second fight. Don't get me. Don't get. Don't take this and twist it. But I feel like um, it will be a tougher fight if Lomachenko start early. And I think T.O. in the second half, you know, he felt that. He felt that. He felt like he banged it out with Loma, but Loma was way better than the first half. And he seen the skill set on him because to me, it didn't look like Loma could miss, dog. It was out there. He was throwing it. He couldn't miss. T.O. was answering back on his ass, but Loma was right there on the man, and, and the offense was, you know, it was it was, it was was looking like Loma Chinko. The offense was there, but he just started too late. So I'm not pissed off at Loma in his pops because that win did wonders for him. They got the right to call himself the number one lightweight in the world. Um, that is a big fucking victory over um, what some people had to number one pound for pound fighter not me but some people had long as number one pound for pound fighter and i don't knock them i knew their reason is you know what i mean they got a they got a valid reason and you know tfimo took that thunder and it put him where he where he's at today so he's able to go in there and fight george cambosis and make three point some million dollars if i'm not mistaken three point some million dollars right and he's the number one man to beat at 135. you know he got three scraps to me i think Devin haney is the, the real wbc um, lightweight champion, but nonetheless, Tiafimo, he's calling himself undisputed. I can't knock him from calling himself that um, because of what the fuck Mauricio Sudamon did, but at the end of the day, I think he's just a unified lightweight world champion. He got the Devin Haney fight right there. I don't know if he's going to make that happen or not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. It's up to Bob Earn. But with Lomachenko and Javante Davis, that's another hell of a fight. I think that fight um, is it's, it's a possibility. Depending on how Tank look at 140 and what Tank want to do at 140. Because he, he at 140, it's a lot of big fights right there as well. It's a lot of big fights at 140 for Javante Davis. Josh Tate look like he's going to stay. Mikey Garcia look like he's interested. Ted Fimo look like he coming up to 140. So, you know, Tank is a big star, man. Tank is a big star. From 140 on down, he's the biggest star in the game, in my opinion. You understand me? And he, he, he's linking himself to 140, 135, and 130 pounds. So you look at all three of them divisions. You look, you look at the fighters inside the division. You put Javante Davis with any of those fighters, and it's going to pan out, and it's going to look damn good. So Tank is going to have options after options after options, um, assuming he get past Mario Berrios to be a three-division world champion. No matter how people want to slice it and dice it, he's going to be a three-division world champion. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be gunning for his head because of the superstardom and the money that he's going to bring to the table. But with a Lomachenko, man, that is a hell of a fight that a lot of people wanted to see early on, right? A lot of people say Tank was scared of Lomachenko. He's ducking Lomachenko, this, that, and the third. So if Tank wants to get into the ring into the ring with Loma right now, right, it'll still prove a point that, no, I'm not afraid of no fucking Lomachenko. And if Tank wants to be successful, we all know the, the words of, well, T.O. beat him first. He didn't want to fight him until T.F.E.M.O. showed this and T.F.E.M.O. showed that. Nonetheless, he got into the ring with the man. Styles make fights. Depending on how Javante Davis beat Lomachenko, it's what's going to um, really be the, the, the telling of the story. But if um, Loma could get in there and beat a Javante Davis, man, that put him right back where he need to be. Right back where he need to be. Right back on top. Because to me, Loma really never dropped. He never really, he never really dropped. How people trying to make him drop. To me, I still got Loma as one of the top fucking fighters in the world, man. One of the top fighters in the world. He's still on my pound for pound list. Lomachenko did not leave my pound for pound list. He's still on my pound for pound list because of his skill set. And he's a hell of a fighter, bro. You can't take away what the man does in the ring. A lot of people looking at him, they didn't like Lomachenko. They wanted to see him fall off in the first place. You know, he took a loss to Tiafimo Lopez. Yes. You know what I mean? It made him drop. But still, you're not going to find 10 fighters in the world, to me, that's better than Lomachenko. You know what I mean? Can't find 10. Just my opinion. You feel me? So if him and Tank can make the fight happen, bro, that shit would be great for boxing. It would be very entertaining. And it'll show us that boxing, you know, is giving us the best versus the best. 
You know what I mean? But Loma is out here, man. He is back. He letting people know I, I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to fight my way back to a world title, whether it's Teofimo Lopez, whether it's Javante Davis, whomever at the top spot, I'm coming. I want my opportunity. I am still one of the biggest threats in the game. I am one of the biggest, um, got, have one of the biggest skill sets in the game, and I won't be denied, bro. I won't be denied. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to continue to fight the best. I just took an L to, to um, Teofimo Lopez. Now I'm right back in the ring with Nakatani, who got the biggest win of his career, um, knocking out Felix Fidejo in a hell of a fight. Right? That was a hell of a fight, bro. And after I finish with Nakatani, whomever else is out there that's a big name that want to get into the ring with Lomachenko, I'm down for it. Devin Haney saying he want to fight me. You know, Teofimo, he look like he don't want to give me the rematch. Javante doing what he's doing. So whatever the next big name out there, I'm going to jump at the opportunity, and, and, and I'm going to show y'all that I am still Lomachenko. The Matrix, one of the best to ever do it. And I mean, two-time gold medalist, and y'all boys can't keep me down. So, shouts out to Lomachenko, man, for coming back and coming back with a vengeance. He want to prove a point. He want to show these boys that once y'all get into the ring with me, I'm going to show y'all that there's levels to this shit. And Loma is on a mission. I respect Loma. I like his skill set. I am enjoy him and Nakatani. I feel like that's a hell of a fight that we will enjoy. It will be actually packed, in my opinion. And after that, we'll just see what's next for Lomachenko. See if he can get a big fight with one of these cats. But I wish Tank nothing but the best June 26th. I wish Teofimo Lopez nothing but the best June the 19th. And I wish Lomachenko nothing but the best on June 26th as well. I think he fight on June 26th. I might be wrong, but don't, you know, fact check that. Until then, this your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Train half to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share the video, and y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.